Right now we're following breaking news. Chaos on Canal Street as police are on the scene of a shooting at the edge of the French Quarter. All this happening as people are getting off of work and making their home in the afternoon. WDSU's Cassie Sherm live on the scene with the very latest. Cassie. Well, guys, here on Canal and Royal Street, still a very active scene where one man was shot. And actually, you guys can see back behind me here, we are right next to that area where it happened. Now, I'm being told this happened a little bit earlier, around 3 o'clock today. And police have been here investigating this, trying to see exactly what happened. But we actually have the man who was here who put a tourniquet on the man who was shot. Kenny Foster, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about what happened and what you saw. Uh I was uh, about 15 foot between the young man and the young girl, and we were all walking up this way, and I seen a black car sit, and they stopped, and three young males between 14, 18 years old, three of them. And I'm walking behind the guy and the girl, and I hear boom, boom, boom. I ducked down after, oh, man, somebody I got me. It, they, they didn't get me. So the black car sped straight down Royal Avenue after the, the, uh, I got a, a black pant and a white hoodie, had the gun and go pow, pow, pow. The guy, the young boy behind him had a gun, but he never shot. So they run straight across Canal, right straight down Royal Street, and I seen the young man in front of me, his girlfriend was holding him, and he bent down and he slumped down and when he slumped down I seen his both of his legs had been shot but I don't know where but both of them had been shot and the blood's over there so I took my belt off as quick as I'm thinking I wrapped it around his waist and I put a tourniquet on him so he couldn't bleed anymore and his girlfriend I said look I want you to look at me. What's your name? Look at me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Look at me. So he told me what his name was and his girlfriend, he laid back down on her lap. She picked his head up and I said, talk to him. And I said, look at me. Talk to me. Don't go to sleep on me. I said, I got you. Oh, my legs hurt. I got shot in the legs. I said, I know, i seen that. I was right behind you. Yeah, and, and people in the area are saying that you possibly saved his life. I don't want to say saved his life, but when they took him out of that spot right there where all the blood's at, they put him on a stretcher and took him off, and I said, look, I only want to say I hope the young man makes it. That's all I can say. And are you from this area or did you? Uh, I, I live on uh, St. Charles in uh, Pennington. Well, thank you, sir, so much for your service and thank you for helping out well, your, your not fellow. Only that, but that's, that's part of my duty, you know, Vietnam veterans. This, this is what we do is help, don't hurt. But he still got my belt. I want my belt back because my pants fall off. Well, thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate oh, it again. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you so much. You are so. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to continue to follow this story very closely and give you guys the latest update in just a little bit. So stay tuned with us. But guys, again, police are still on the scene investigating. They are taking a look at the bullets right now and we'll continue to follow this. Reporting here on Canal Street, I'm Cassie Sherm, WDSU News. Back to you.